Hi Capricorns, welcome in you guys. Happy Saturday for viewing me today. My name is Elena and we are doing your general reading, so welcome in or welcome back. This is good for all placements for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, rising, moon, Venus, if this is about love, but I do love crossing at the end. So let's look at your current energies, Capricorns, because I've been cleansing, I've been shuffling, and I don't feel anything of blockages around you, except you're having a lot of new truths about things in your life. You have a beautiful energy of going after something, and the more you go after it right now, it seems to just come your way in abundance. If this is your reading. I'll let the cards do the talking, but truth be told has flown out twice, and I feel there's a lot of things going on around you right now that you're okay with, but you're having a lot of truths about the things in your life that perhaps didn't work out. There was a reason for it and you're understanding it with a clear viewpoint. Current energies for Capricorns, please. What do I need to see? Current energies for the sign of Capricorn. What do you need to show me for Capricorn? That's some flippers and I had a lot. You guys, the readings lately have been <laughs> off the charts. All this planetary action going on, okay. Okay, underneath the deck is why I have because it's been a part of your destiny to teach you that <clears throat> there's a bigger place you're going to, the card of being blessed. Right now, you're counting your blessings. And I feel that if this is your reading, you're in a big energy of your own home, your own space, your own comfort zone. And I do feel there's a few Capricorns that are at a fork in the road about something. But what I'm going to say to you, if you are at a fork in the road in something in your life, spirit guides want me to tell you, don't question why. They want you to look at the new moon for new beginnings. The fox looking through the telescope at the new moon. Uh, it's a beautiful energy around you right now for learning that patience always pays off. And it's around you right now. And you know it if this is your reading. You're really going with the flow about something. This is flexible. It's like you're going with the winds each way. And spirit guides are telling me there's a lot of things that are coming up from the bottle of emotion, the body of emotion. It's message in a bottle. But the stork is grabbing the bottle that's been buried under water. I feel you're having a lot of new truths right now about something you kept bottled up for a long time. And I feel that it's clearing your energy. This big solar eclipse is pushing everybody on a new journey for a higher evolvement and higher enlightenment. Let's see, keep going. I got the never ending story and I got a time of mending for you Capricorns. You guys, this is absolutely beautiful. You earth signs have really been in some beautiful energies. And sometimes we have to look at the things in our life that felt like we never were able to tie our shoelaces completely to the bow. That is a time for you to let go of something and stop questioning why, because that's what's leaving you at a fork in the road in your life right now if you're questioning something. Know that wherever you're at is teaching you that there's a bigger place where you need to be. I have imagined, you guys are in a big energy of just fantasizing about what you want in life. And then I have the universe, higher power. Like Capricorns, I, when I was cleansing and shuffling, I felt your energies and they're just a place of letting your imagination go and the universe is guiding you through something. It's like you have a sense behind you of power. I feel you're being guided into a new direction for a bigger and better Capricorn. Everybody's been getting it lately. A bigger and better Capricorn, a new life. It's like you guys are coming into this beautiful energy right now of anything is possible. And spirit guides are telling me with the imagine card and higher power, you need to go with it. And stop questioning why something didn't happen. There was a reason for it because something bigger and better is coming in. And it's coming in fast around you right now. It's go the distance. And I would assume just by the card itself, it's the cheetah. You guys are have this sense of going after something. You have a sense of knowing that you're going to get a victory. You're going to cross the finish line. There's a checkered flag there. And I feel the universe is pushing you because you're cleaning a lot of situations up in your life. I have the giant buck, you guys. We can call it. I was going to say we can call it, you know, the. listen, you guys are the sea goat, the mountain goat. We can call you climbing your mountain, but along climbing your mountain to the top, you guys are cleaning up a lot of situations. And sometimes this energy can hurt us a little bit. And I just feel spirit guides are telling me to tell you, you, not, you, never, you do not need to question why about something right now. 
you need to go after something that you truly want because there's a big energy of renewal around you right now, Capricorns. The spirit guides want me to tell you that there's a big change in the winds. Now, in this card, <laughs> when this card comes up in your energy, it's a major shift and it's in the air and you feel it if this is your reading. So if you're questioning why lately and you're having some new truths about something, we must always clean our vibration. We must always let go of situations in our life so our slate can be clean, so we can be open to receive the abundances that are coming your way. Capricorns, I have nothing bad to report. There's just a few things here, but wow, mend it. Mend yourself. You are loved and you're going to a bigger and better place wherever you're at right now. Keep climbing your mountain with your giant broom. It's okay. You, I'm just telling you something big is coming in for you. I can feel it. Let's look at your recent past. I am going to go where I'm going to go to the rider weight. I always like to do the rider weight. I don't know who's under the decks. I clench up. will put them down. Seven of cups, a uh, card of disillusionment. Did I make bad choices? Is that what I really want? You were really looking at something. The Ace of Wands is a new passionate beginning. Something new. I feel you were disillusioned about some choices you made. You, I think I feel that there were Capricorns that wanted new. Something new and exciting. Emotionally, though, you had to learn that there's things you had to walk away from the Eight of Cups to manifest the life you wanted. Always at a crossroads about your emotional disappointments. The things were actually coming together for you in the Triangle of Stability. You just had to realize that you have the power all along with your own will and determination and charisma and charm. Because the queen of fire attracts everybody in the right way. Those run to the deck. I'll shuffle. I'll put them all back in. We'll mix it up. And we'll shuffle. These are messages about your recent past. I like to look there as a tarot reader. It's going to bring me right here. I'm just going to say that you started having some type of clarity about the things in life that perhaps you were holding on to that were disappointments that you realize that whatever you've been through you were cleaning it up the spirit guides are saying now we're gonna have a major shift in the winds for you capricorns to bring you to a bigger and better place reason past for capricorns thank you anything else for the strongest messages for the recent past thank you perfect perfect all right Here's your cards, Capricorn. Three sideways, one straight up, and the card underneath the deck is the King of Truth. Oh my goodness, the King of Swords. You guys, you had a clarity, you had a vision, and you saw the truth, and you were fighting for the truth. The King doesn't sway. It is a very honorable King of Integrity. Really fighting for something here. You were standing your ground, and I feel it was about you just doing what was right, standing for what you believed in. But I do feel that the only thing that was blocking you was that you started looking at the things you made choices with with your heart. And I feel spirit guides are telling me that you always will look at things that we've chosen in the wrong way because I feel spirit guides are telling me that it made you a bigger and better person because recently behind you, I have big judgment sideways, I have the emperor sideways, and I have the knight of earth sideways, a very brave knight. But you had to learn that everything in life is about a compassionate review because judgment is about releasing it, releasing all the things we've been through to make us a bigger and better person. And I feel you started coming into an energy of realizing that you had to take charge of situations in your life because the last card coming into your current energies is the things you truly want, your wishes and desires, your nine of cups. Your nine of cups is wish fulfillment, you guys. Right now, spirit guides are telling me that you had to do a compassionate review of the things you've been through. It's okay, you were a different Capricorn because the Capricorn you are today is a bigger and better one and things are gonna start moving at a rapid rate. And now I'm gonna look at your incoming, but this is beautiful. There's something that you had to go through and I feel it was about staying in your own energy of your integrity, you know, fighting for what was right. Perhaps you were disillusioned about choices you made in love, but I feel you might have been holding on to it a little bit too tight. And Spirit Guide to telling me you had to learn, you had to let something go. Because right now, your wishes want to come into fruition. Whatever you've been wishing for, within reason, you know, because I feel you're being pushed to a place of beauty, blessings, a new life, a new beginning, a new sense of freedom, a sense of renewal. And let's look. Okay. Who do I want to use? Strongest incoming energies, then I'll look at messages, then angel cards, then love crossing at the end. 
I want to use the compass card today for you guys. I do not know who's any of these decks, but I was going to do the blue deck, but I heard compass. Okay. The gentle gardener. And this is about nurturing. You know, this is about something coming into fruition for you. I have the universe watching you. You guys, it's like a big energy of something is about to come into fruition. And I have the card of rescue. Like, there's somebody watching you in a hot air balloon. I got two energies watching you right now. I feel Capricorn's like you're going to be tested on something. And it's about your beauty and strength. I have spark and your sacred self. Your beauty and your strength. Sacred pool is about our sacred self. Being true to thyself. You're about to be tested about your strength and courage and how you can ride the wave to something to stop fearing the unknown and believe that everything will come together the card of commitment with flying and then i have the home and it's, there's a clock on the tree you guys you guys are going home you guys are going back to your sense of yourself i'm gonna put them all back in i just feel spirit guides are telling me that this is something big is coming in for you the card of rescue is about new beginnings a new journey but I do feel you're about to be tested with something nothing bad nothing bad just about your own strength and courage about your own happiness incoming for Capricorns because it's about to be delivered what would you like to show me it's about to be delivered incoming strongest cards for Capricorns next few weeks what do I need to see please for the sign of Capricorns, strongest incoming. I have a flipper. A test of your strength. The sun is on you, Capricorns. It's the mountain. You're about to climb your mountain. The sun is up on you. It's like you're getting to the top, but this is a card about thriving through the power of positive thinking because something is coming into fruition for you. I have the card of spark. I have the card of commitment. And then there's your magic stream. I feel spirit guides are telling me you're going to be tested on something that has to do with your strength and your courage about your own happiness and your commitments to the things in life that you truly want to come together. Here's your three cards, Capricorns. They're rather beautiful. First card on my left, the dry desert. This is a card of resourcefulness, you guys. It's a card telling me you're about to be tested on something and it's about how you have the strength and the resourcefulness to make anything move now you know there's a lot of change coming in for everyone but this is testing you realizing that you are more powerful than you can even imagine you have the ability to create anything you want in the upcoming energies we are in the astrological new year this is a time of our own creations because the card in the middle is the card of creation, the bone collector. You guys, it's the dream catcher. It's telling me there's a compass right here, Capricorns. Something in your life is about to shift. In the next few weeks, spirit guides want me to tell you, you have the strength, you have the knowledge, you have the resourcefulness to catch all your dreams. It's a very wise energy. This is with you in the next few weeks because the last card they gave me is you're up and running. The, the, listen, it's the ostrich and it's movement. The hot air balloon is pushing you forward with something. What do I feel? It's towards a new you, a new vibration, a bigger and better life, a higher enlightenment. And when we come into that energy, we start to attract everything that we truly want because the universe works with us. There's an energy coming in in the next few weeks to test you about your own resourcefulness. Spirit guides are telling me that you have the wisdom, you have the power to create whatever you want because it's going to shift something in your life and things are going to start moving at a rapid rate. I saw a change in the wind. What's coming in for you is your life is about to shift. Stay in the power of positivity. Stay in the power of the strength you have. Use your resourcefulness because everything is pushing you in the right direction. The hot air balloon is behind you, pushing you forward. That's the fastest land bird. You guys are up and moving. You're climbing your mountain and you're climbing it fast. And spirit guides are saying, just stay in your own core energy of your resourcefulness, Capricorns. You will get everything you're, you truly want. The bone collector is the dream catcher. All right, you guys, this is beautiful. Congratulations, Capricorns. I'm very thankful you're my moon. <laughs> Emotionally, I've been in a big energy of thinking like, ah, I can do this. 
Everything's possible. Emotionally, I feel it. You know, so this is beautiful. And you have the courage and strength to overcome any obstacles. You are being guided into the magic stream, which is about to help you catch all the dreams you truly want in life. Okay, I, it was beautiful. I will always look at the positive side of every reason, reading with reason. There's always things we go through, but sometimes we're our own, we are our own worst enemies because we block ourselves. But they're telling you, you don't need to feel that. You have everything you need. You're getting to the top. Wow. Okay, now let's get some messages from Spirit Guides today. I'm going to do, uh, hmm. Oh, this is a deck I think I want to use today. Page of Wands, new fire energy. This is new about new ventures, eagerness. A lot of hurtful completions, and it's time for you to see it for what it was. The King of Swords is the King of Truth, the visionary, logic. You know, we all go through things that have hurt us, but this is a card of it's behind you. And this is a card of staying in your own integrity and truth. There's something coming in to push you on a lot of new journeys. And I just feel that the only thing that can block you is the fear of the unknown. I feel spirit guides are telling me to tell you as long as you stay in your truth with integrity and be the visionary of a higher enlightenment, what you are pulling in is of great magnitude for beauty, abundance. Messages about the reading for Capricorn. You guys, your reading was beautiful. Because when I see a change in the wind, in your current, and then movement, it's going, in, it's going in a beautiful new direction. Okay, messages today for the sign of Capricorns. If you can tell Capricorns any messages, what, what would you like to tell the sign of Capricorn? about this reading today. Thank you. Anything else? Messages? The lovers. Oh, patience, temperance. Okay, temperance is angel temperance. It's a major arcana about knowing everything is going to work out just fine. It's time for you to move forward with something in your life. The Two of Wands is telling me that you're going to have new energy about making something in your life work. The Moon, trust your intuition through something. Trust the unknown. I feel spirit guides are telling me what you're about to receive is a whole lot of happiness. You just need to trust through something here and don't, don't doubt yourself. And I just feel that that's really what I feel. I, I just feel like there's going to be an energy coming in to make you realize that. You are about to receive now. You are about to get in this energy of everything being and working out in your favor. I just feel it. I haven't seen the cards. I have the Nine of Pentacles, self-mastery, feeling whole. I have Big Aries, the Emperor. I have a golden opportunity, and I'll leave these three last. This is a solid new beginning, you guys. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It is the best ace. And I just feel that there's all golden opportunities coming in for you. However, self-mastery with the emperor is about you taking charge of situations in your life. Knowing that you should always keep your ambitious plans because you will conquer it. And there's a big card of self-mastery. You guys, this is about you learning that you have the ability to go after anything you want and achieve it. Have your ambitious plans. Everything will come into fruition. And I feel. I have the Hierophant. Beautiful card of commitment. Beautiful card of faith and tradition. And I have it with the hanging man sideways. Stop being your own worst enemy. Now, I'm not here to relay bad messages. I'm just here to relay messages. So don't be mad at the messenger. I, I get them too in my reading. But the hanging man is always feeling like, you know, we're obligated or we're stuck. You're not. It's sideways. This is the card. This is the teacher. This is Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Faith, tradition, commitment, spirituality of getting to the top. Wow. Because the last card they gave you is choices and destiny. The lovers. All right, you guys. This is the message. The lovers is telling me that there's situations in your life that you have the power to change certain parts of your own destiny. Stop feeling obligated or confined to certain situations in your life. You have the power to break free. It's going to make you feel whole. A golden opportunity is coming in for you. Stop letting the clouds block something here and trust your own intuition and know everything is going to be all right. 
angel temperance is all around you in the incoming energies everything is going to work make everything work it's going to work with you there's something coming in to push you forward and it's going to push you forward to a bigger part of your path and i just feel that there's capricorns out there if you have a place of wondering what should i do now remember that there's certain situations and people in all of our lives that we are not tied to in any form or fashion of course unless they're your children but i just feel like this is about the choices you're making in your life you're not tied to an old way they want you to start going towards a new way for a new part of your destiny and path i'm gonna leave it right there all right you guys that was a beautiful reading today for my beautiful capricorns stop be i just feel like really it's all about the power that you have and stop allowing old situations to make you feel that you're confined to it you're not it's time to pick a new path, a new destiny, and things are just going to roll out in your favor. I just really feel that. But I'm going to get three angel cards now for you. Apparently, we're starting. The Four of Gabriel and the Leap of Faith. Right. I'd like one or two more cards for my Capricorns today, please. Thank you. One more card for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Seven of Gabriel is under the deck. Okay, I'm gonna read it. I sure am, it's right there. Beautiful, it looks like in your Pegasus. Flying. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. Oh, Capricorns, you're flying, you're going somewhere. All right, first card to my, oh, oh my goodness, okay. Yes, I will read these. So you guys got the leap of faith with the four of Gabriel. This is what flew out of the deck early. So I'm going to do the leap of faith first. This is the zero. Clean slate. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. Go after things that make you happy, Capricorn. It's going to change a part of your destiny because then you guys got the four of Gabriel. Gateways open. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. I'm not gonna bring up the I'm not gonna bring up the hanging man, but I will. Okay. The next card they gave you is the Emperor. I saw it. I'm I, I know I repeat, but I'm I, you it's even right here, it's staring at me. The Emperor. One of your messages. Stability and efficiency. Taking charge of situations, ambitious plans. Wow. I, I just feel like whatever you go after with your ambitious plans, everything is going to come into fruition because the last card they gave you is Angel Ariel and it's the seven and this is beautiful. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for your harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavors. Oh, Capricorns, what a beautiful reading today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I got it. You know what? I can't even see it, but they said read it. I'm going to read it. It's the Ten of Michael. A situation has ended and you are finally free. Put the past behind you. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. All right, this is what I have for you today, Capricorns. I hope this reading helped you. I'm rolling into Love Crossing, you guys. It was a beautiful reading for you today. Soak up these good energies. Okay. All right, if you're in a harmonious union or just not dealing with anyone right now, these are Love Crossing energies, dealing with love energy. So they're, I always look at the difficult energies to see why these people are going through something. All right, you guys, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful solar eclipse day. Sending you a love and light, and thank you for your love and support. For my beautiful Capricorns um, dealing with somebody, I'm going to look. Who do I want to use? Let me let me probe around a little bit. Oh, this is the deck I want to use. All right. I feel this one. I feel it. <laughs> These are the strongest love crossing. They may or may not be all your persons, but somebody's been putting a lot of work into something. Eight of Pentacles. They're still dealing with a lot of uh, nine of wands. We call it the wounded warrior, but it's it's they're just still dealing with things that have defeated them from the past. They're in a big place of evaluation. I feel that this person tends to go back and forth a lot about what they truly want with their heart's desire. Emotionally, there's certain situations they know they need to leave to get to their ten of cups with you. 
Well, if I had to guess, that Queen of Swords is a very beautiful queen. But it, it's Libra energy, and it's someone who's in evaluation right now about can something change for the two of you. Love fussing for Capricorns. What do you want to show me? Let's see. Love crossing. Strongest energies. Uh, the Capricorns. Mm -hmm. I've been dealing with. Thank you. Show me the strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else? Love crossing? No. I saw this card and I saw that one. I, oh, I understand now. Okay. Judgment. Uh, someone who is in a big place of realizing that there's things in their life that they have to release. And judgment is a judgment call about reviewing things with compassion. You know, people don't understand that judgment. When we get into that big energy, it's a major arcana that it's time to release things so we can rebirth new things in their life. And this is the energy they're in right now. They want to get to the light at the end of the tunnel with you. And I feel it's someone who wants to get the calmer waters for peace and happiness. They're starting to step up to the plate with a lot of strength and courage to go after what they want with the emperor. Three of Cups and the Empress. This person needs to put, this person, whoever this is, is letting go of some hurtful completions from the past. It takes people time, you guys. Because then I have the Hanging Man in reverse. I have the moon in reverse, a lot of Pisces energy. It doesn't have to be a Pisces, but this is very emotional, sensitive energy. I have the six of coins. And I see these two, I don't know who this is. You guys, I'm gonna tell you that their current energies right now is, I actually feel bad for this person, not in a bad way, but in a compassionate way. Because whatever they're going through in life right now is they're doing a big old review I mean, they're realizing that they need to step up to the plate. They need to take charge of situations in their life if they want something to change. Because I have the Seven of Swords, a card of Deceit, Betrayal, Lies, Strategy. And then I have the Eight of Cups sideways. They're choosing something right now. And it's about the things in their life that they need to leave. They know that if they want to get something in their ultimate happiness for Capricorn, they have to leave some old stuff behind. Last card in their energies is it's someone who's taken a major time out. Ooh, four swords. Card of rest and renewal. You guys, this person is really in a really hard energy right now. And for whatever I feel, for whatever reason, is this person is trying to find their way through something here. But what I do know is I just feel this person has a lot of love for you. And I just feel that they really want to nurture something with you. But right now, their focus is on themselves getting better. Okay? Now I'm going to look at their intentions. Listen, if this is someone who did you dirty and you want nothing to do with them and they can't change, I can't help about low vibrational people. They're in every sign. It doesn't matter. But if this is someone who is starting to evolve and wake up, it takes some people time. You know? But you saw your reading, so you just keep going, moving forward, because you know what's coming in. Their intentions are the strongest intentions of love coming in towards you. Three of Pentacles, somebody who wants to work on union here. It's part of marriage, but the High Priestess, the Magician, somebody at a distance, the Hanging Man with their Capricorns. See, the Hermit. Victory card. Okay, I'll put them on. All right, this is what I'm just going to say what I feel. You know, the Three of Wands is telling me that this person is reflecting a lot at things at a distance. But I really feel because the Magician, the High Priestess is here, and the Three of Pentacles, that this person is realizing that they have to put the work into something here, trusting their own intuition. I feel whoever this is is just tired of being in limbo in their life. Like they're always feeling like they're just hanging from a tree. Really, literally. I mean, just upside down. But they're not stuck. I mean, they can just untie themselves any time at any point. But I feel they're starting to realize that they're playing the victim a little bit too much about something here. I don't know what it is. Oh, who is this? I saw a card in here that doesn't belong. Mm. Nice. Okay, here we go, you guys. Love crossing intentions. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Home. Stability. Ultimate. Next few weeks. What do I feel? 
I feel this person is really going to work on making something work here with you. The Queen of Wands. Queen don't give up. And the Knight of Wands. Determined to make something work with you. This person, I just feel this person doesn't want to lose you. All right. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Intentions. Thank you. Strongest. Love crossing intentions. Thank you. For the sign of Capricorns. Love crossing intentions. Strongest. Next few weeks. Towards the sign of Capricorns. Thank you, spirit guides. Anything else? Here comes the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is bringing in a Page of Pentacles. Well, the Page of Pentacles is about a peace offering, something new of stability, a beginning. It's young energy. I feel like it's somebody who wants to start over. Six of Cups, the Lovers, and here comes the King of Commitment. Oh, okay. With their Empress, and you guys, they're flying in. I feel like this person, the Six of Cups and the Lovers, uh, you know... Very rarely do I see these two cards together, but this person knows that you're their divine counterpart. They just feel this connection with you that they can't re they, they can't release. This person's riding in. They're determined to come in. They're going to try to offer you some type of peace offering. or just new, They're going to say, let's go slow, a new solid start. They want to nurture something with you, Capricorns. It's the Empress and the King of Love. Still waters run deep with that King, but this is a very nurturing energy. Hold on, we got more. Victory card, five of pentacles, and then I have somebody who is going to come rushing in the chariot. But this chariot has one thing's up, one thing's down. Trusting their intuition through something here, and I feel it's about their own days of isolation, and we all have them. But this person is determined to come in, and they're just waiting on something here. They're going to they're gonna try to make something work with you, Capricorns, because here comes a page of wands. And the page of wands is young, eager. A lot of young energy here. It doesn't have to be somebody younger, but to me it can be very immature or just can be very scared, nervous energy. That's how I feel. I have the tower and somebody who wants to turn that thing. Listen, the nine of pentacles in reverse with the tower is somebody's going to have a wake up call about making something here be right. And that's really what I feel. Because a wake up call with the nine of pentacles in reverse is like someone is realizing that they have to put a lot of work into something if they want to feel whole again. And this to me is like tearing down an old them, like a wake up call. You know, it's like someone who's having a wake up call about something about them that needs to be torn down if they ever want to feel whole again with their Capricorn. Somebody's coming back in to try to make something work with you. They are. You know, if this is somebody you truly want and they're showing you they change and they put the work in, go slow. If it's somebody who can't change and they've done you dirty how many times over, you know what to do and I don't need to tell you. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave the reading here. Your reading was beautiful today. I hope you soaked up those energies. All right, you guys, have a beautiful day. Thank you for viewing me. Wishing you much love and light and thank you for your love and support. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.